All right, so here's where we are now. I have the windshield in. And I did paint the metal strip there, of course. So the windshield is glued in now. And so are the headlights. Now the, um, the grill is just set in there right now. Uh, and I'm not going to put on all these extra little things until I, I know that I'm done fidgeting, trying to get the tub in there. And I had the tub in there once. I'm positive I'm not going to have to glue that because just having it in there, uh, test fitting, I almost didn't get it out. I mean, it gets in there snug, so that's just going to be jammed in there and that's the way it's going to stay. But um, I don't want to have all this stuff on the outside if I'm going to have to uh, pull and pry and push and twist to try to get that in. So I'm just putting a few things on the outside before I um, commit to putting the tub in again and uh, so like for example I've got to get the little side window in there and I've got to paint that strip there that uh, you know, what are you going to call that kind of a flare is supposed to be black and uh, get that painted before we put that. otherwise the rest of the pieces will all go on in a day uh, just uh, Getting close, guys. So, uh, anything new? Okay, so yeah, these things here I have uh, spray painted um, with chrome paint. Uh, it didn't come out as good as, say, example, the um, the parts did on the Digger Cuda. And I did um, spray them all in the same day at the same time. But uh, it'll make it look a little bit unique anyway. And those, of course, are the rails that go up on the uh, sides here around the door anyway they'll be on in a moment uh... let's just do that let's put more parts on okay so here we go a lot has happened since boy i'm gonna have to get my pointer out um... first i'm gonna have to find my pointer found it anyway uh, as you can see a lot has um, happened since the last seen. Uh, the tub is in there. If you remember me talking about how I had the headlights glued in there. Um, I'm new to big rigs and there's a lot of things that you don't do. And you don't glue the headlights in before you put the tub in because you'll never get the tub in. Um, it is a very tight fit. In fact, I had this little uh, side window glued in and as I was putting the tub in, it knocked that off but I had to take the headlights back off and I had them glued in there real good but um, and of course I made it out. all this is glued on now everything's all glued together I wish I could show the underside because there's uh, I'll probably end up, yeah I can do that here we go, put it on its back I had to do a lot of work under here because I, the last second I realized that this is all going to be showing because it flips forward. And um, you can see I painted the, uh, painted that little fender flare. And it's probably not called fender flare, but whatever. And um, yeah, happy with the way some of these things came out. The, um, that's probably awfully big as it goes but I don't know maybe it is that big on the real truck um, so that was black washed as um, kit chrome and then um, just black washed and this did the same thing with the grill very happy with that um, the Chevy logo that was some tiny painting I actually just got in there with the uh, toothpick and got the uh, just a brush paint from the bottle. It's not this is the same. It's not a match to the uh, body color. It's not the tester's um, spray paint. It's just dark blue paint. Anyway, I learned the hard way to paint the trim on the um, windshield uh, before you put all this stuff on because I had all this stuff on and then realized I didn't paint it and so it was really a challenge to get in there and paint that without um, knocking something off but I did it uh, what else here mistakes yeah I wanted for sure I wanted the um, oh, let me swing this around I 
I did find the other, um, I have, um, two of these Lazy Susans now from Microwaves. One on the lower section and one on the upper section. I couldn't be happier. But anyway, the, um, as you can see there, you can look in the window now and see all that. But big mistakes I made, I wanted for sure for the um, side windows to be open, so I decided to leave glass off of there. The glass, of course, is all one piece there. But it also um, covered the uh, triangle window, and so now I have nothing there. And I don't know what to do about it. I'll uh, probably end up leaving it there. Now, uh, decals uh, didn't work out so much. And here's where I wish I had the box out. It, there's supposed to be a uh, fancy pinstripe decal that runs right underneath those grab handles that are not on yet. You can see the points there. I have... Oh, here's my point. Yeah, okay. These little points here are where the grab handles mount on, and then there was a pinstripe that uh, mounts right underneath that, so it has to be put on before you put the grab handles on. But if your pinstriping decals are no good, you can't do that. As you can see, they fell apart in the water. So, and there's some more decals on the sheet that I do want to use, some, some more fancy pinstripes and so on. So I'm going to try to spray the sheet with some decal bonder and save them. We'll see if it works. Uh, other than that, we are still assembling here. And so, um, I guess we're going to the next scene where I'll be putting on the things like the, um, oh, this stuff. Oh, the side mirrors, ladders visor and these big black pieces are um, on the bottom side covering up um, the back of the headlight and uh, that is a duct and I'll get to that when I get to that and I'll explain all that so I have some more parts over there oh yeah the step the uh, side markers there's a lot more to do there's um, something I'm noticing with these uh, big rig kits is there doesn't seem to be an end to them anyway moving on let's go to the next scene Okay, so, moving right along here, I've got a question. I'm looking here at the bottom, and these things here are the uh, hinges for the cab. And I'm looking at the instructions here, and they are saying to... I, obviously, I see where they attach on this side, but on this side, it's a bit vague. If you look in there, that kind of looks like the outline of the radiator, right there. And it looks like you got these little marks right next to the radiator. But when I look on the model itself, I don't see any marks next to the radiator, but I see these giant marks on the radiator. And now I don't know... There's no marks next to the radiator. Just these giant marks on the radiator. For, for you guys who got the experience, am I gluing these right onto those marks right on the radiator? It sort of seems like that's going to pry the radiator right off. Or am I... This doesn't look like it's going to be easy to line up. Any insight you guys got on that would help me out greatly. Anyway, just had that question. Let me flip this over and show you where I'm at. Okay, here's where we're at. You can see a number of things that have been added since the last scene, or two scenes ago. We have the grab handles are on. And the uh, mirrors. And the turn signals. And is there anything else? I don't remember, but, oh, yeah, these things, the steps, and the uh, ladder. And man, oh man, was that a challenge getting those glued on at the right angle. 
see there. If you do that wrong, you, you would have that sticking out or sticking in. But I got it. Anyway, that's the way it's looking right now. Pretty happy with it. I don't have the uh, visor on yet. And of course the decals aren't on, but at some point you gotta take a break and post an update and then go back to building. I haven't sprayed the decals yet in hopes of trying to save them. And uh, that's that. So I guess what, see what I want to do, I'll get that in the next scene. So what I want to do, as you can see, I've got it up on this cup, because once you have these ladders on, you got a problem, because you can't just set it down. And uh, so I think at this point, I'm going to uh, bring the chassis out and set it on the chassis just to have a place to put it. So i got to kind of rearrange my area here and start uh, getting ready to uh, continue with the chassis out here. So... Uh, here we go. So here, <laughs> here we go. It's uh, not exactly sitting on their level. Obviously, the hinges have to be in place. So um, you see them sticking out there. I can sort of let me see if I can do this any better at all. It kind of doesn't want to. Uh, the resting on the engine there rather than uh, where it's supposed to be resting on and so uh, that's what we got going on there anyway I'm gonna break something and so oh, the whole idea of having a good place to set it is not working so after all that, I'm going to end up putting it back up on the cup. So we've got the cab up on the tower. And as you can see, we still have a lot of work to do on the chassis. And I wanted to wait until the um, cab was ready just for alignments and stuff like that. Because the um, stacks and so on, the stacks and hoses and... Um, all that stuff really uh, depends on where the cab is so I wanted to have that done and now I can go back to the chassis and finish all that stuff and that's pretty exciting stuff should be pretty neat uh, so of course gas tanks all these things are not on here yet oh boy the kit that goes on forever but it is getting there it's a good overview of what I've got going right now. And uh, I don't know, one, two, three, ten more updates maybe. It seems like there's no way to finish this one. But I um, will continue. And uh, see what we can get. That's it. I got nothing else. Thanks for watching.